Hi guys, so um, today as part of the um, planning for Christmas series I thought I would share a look at what is in my um, youngest daughter's stocking. This is the stocking, I hope you can see. Like I know the quality, when I do it through my um, webcam I know the quality is not like, not so good but um, it's the easiest way to make videos <laughs> and yeah quickest and easiest way for me to make videos so this is the her stocking um i've just folded it over at the top because it has her name on the top um i'll pop a link below as to where this stocking comes from it is from amazon it's from an independent seller on amazon it's um personalized at the top with her name embroidered and these are really really good quality um the whole family have got them um so but there's different designs they do my other daughter's got a penguin one because um her favourite animal always used to be penguins, so she got a penguin one the first Christmas and it's just stuck. Um, the youngest has got a Santa, they do reindeer, I think they do snowmen. Um, but yeah, they're really, really good quality. You can hear it jingling. That's because there's stuff inside it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you what's inside her stocking. So um, it's pretty, it's it's not, not, not far off full. Um, this is just like the present things that are in here. Um, there will also be chocolate and sweeties inside as well. Um, so usually there's an orange, like a tangerine or an orange in the bottom um, the, of the stocking to kind of like bulk that out. And then there'll be these presents, which will be wrapped. And then there will be interspersed, there'll be some sweeties. And there's usually um, there's usually a, like a candy cane sticking out of the um at the top and usually a um like a chocolate santa like a you know or a chocolate reindeer or something like that so there's these gifts and there'll be sweeties as well so <laughs> it's gonna empty it all out jingle 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 so um the first thing is this and i think this is just so super cute it's um we're quite we've got quite a few musical instruments in our house not that we particularly are musically minded in this house but i think it's nice for children to kind of play musical instruments so we've got like a xylophone and maracas and a drum and things like that um, but we haven't got any bells and so I saw this and I thought it was super cute and I thought it'd just be perfect it's nice little um handheld so yeah she's um she's preschool age so all this is like aimed, as I said aimed at preschool age so there's this little cutie um and <clears throat> excuse me got a um there's this little wooden shoe which the lace has come undone um so she's I don't know I don't know what age children learn to tie their shoes really um my oldest daughter sort of still still struggles with um tying shoelaces um but I just thought this was like a fun little it's just like a little wooden thingy and I just thought it'd be fun not necessarily to to learn to tie your shoe but just kind of like experimenting like fine motor skills and just kind of like undoing it I'm probably going to spend my entire Christmas um and forevermore doing it back up again <laughs> for her to undo um but yeah like a really cute little wooden wooden shoe doesn't that look just like it was made in the in the North Pole that's what I try and I try and look for things that I think look like they're made in the North Pole anyway box of crayons um you can't really go wrong i don't think with crayons um my eldest daughter always gets a box of crayons in her stocking although i'm not sure for how many more years she's getting older and older um so she'll probably have like more like um felt tips and things but crayons get broken throughout the year and used and stuff so yeah always i mean there are times throughout the year that we do buy more crayons, um, but that's a really good stocking filler. These are only like two quid, um, so it's cheap and it's useful and they always need um, crayons. So, a box of crayons. I'm, just going, I'm going into the stockings, it's so exciting because I can't remember what I got and everything. <laughs> um, a little wooden camera. Chink, chink. <laughs> I thought that was really sweet. Um, mine did come a bit damaged. Um, but I contacted the, the contacted the seller and um, they refunded me in full, which is really good. I think I got this from Amazon, but um, I got um, but it was from like it wasn't from Amazon. Amazon it was from um, a seller on Amazon, and I think it was from China. Um, they so yeah, it came damaged, and ordinarily like I wouldn't mind, but because it's a gift, I was like, mm. um, and so they. They refunded me for the purchase, but also let me keep it, which was pretty cool of them. 
So I'm just going to see if I can sand it. It's just, yeah, I like, just, just going to see if I can sand it, sand it down. But um, it's probably going to get knocked and damaged anyway. So I'm not really that bothered. But so that was super nice of them. But I thought that was quite cute for cute little like role play kind of thing. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm kind of into wooden. We're into wooden toys here and stuff like that. Um, so the next thing I got this from, um, that I don't think I said, I think, I didn't think I said, did I? These two things, I found these two things on Amazon as well. Um, the, the crayons I just got in my, um, weekly sh supermarket shop. So I've got those, um, an expanding magic flannel. Sorry, the glare isn't very good, is it? Um, this is Rapunzel, I think. Yeah, Rapunzel. <laughs> I don't really know my I don't really know my princesses. Um, my eldest daughter is kind of into princesses, not as much now as she used to be. So I'm just trying. There you go. She's not as much into um, princesses now as she used to be, um, but she still is. Um, the only downside with this is I'm bummed that it comes in plastic. I'll try where possible to reduce our like our plastic waste and things, um, but it's hard because like. Everything comes in plastic, doesn't it? Um, but these are really cool. So yeah, just they're, they're good because they're little. They fit in a stocking, and they it's a useful present. And also, it's kind of exciting for children as well because the face cloth expands. Um, so yeah, I think that's quite an exciting little present for kids. Well, my eldest daughter, she has always has one in her stocking, and she finds them exciting. I got this from Boots. <laughs> Um, next up is a little box of um, books, a little pocket library. Um, I This did come wrapped in plastic as well, unfortunately. As I said, like everything comes with plastic. Um, I got this from Amazon, um, but I've taken the plastic off so that it's ready to go on Christmas morning. Um, so these are quite cool because you could, I mean, like this stocking has got room to put like the whole thing in. But if you if you want, you can like obviously take them out and perhaps wrap them Um individually um they do loads of little libraries i know there's you can get like paddington you can get bing i think basically thomas tank engine i think basically anything um these days you can get as a little library um my eldest daughter really likes the mr men and the little miss um series she likes the like the like the boldness of the colors but also like the simplicity of it sometimes so i that's what i went for little miss to be honest with you i just um i got this from amazon um because we're still not really going out to shops <laughs> um so um i just searched searched in search searched in <laughs> i just searched for little library books um like pocket library books and this is actually one of the first ones that come up so i was like yeah little miss that's good um next up is a um purse um so she can keep her little pocket money in it. My, daughter, my oldest daughter had one from an early age as well. Um, they get little pocket money and it's nice for them to have their own like their own pocket money and their own kind of like authority when we're out somewhere if they want to buy some sweeties or something, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so she's got her, her first little purse. Cute is that. Um, and the last two things I bought from um, someone on Facebook. She was raising money for, um, I follow a hedgehog sanctuary on Facebook and they posted that someone was um, Fiznits. They were um, making things to raise money for um, their hedgehog sanctuary. And so I bought two things. So firstly, um, they're both hand, hand knitted. So firstly is this little dog. How cute is he? Um, my daughter absolutely loves dogs. And so... Um, I bought her a little dog. I thought it was just, just, you know, great for her to, like, hold and tote around the house and things. So cute. So little. And the next thing, I bought a um, Father Christmas. How cute is he? Um, and he is a tree decoration. So she'll have something for the tree afterwards. Or she can play with him or whatever. I just thought that was really, really cute. And obviously my purchase went towards... Um, helping a charity as well um so that's it i might buy um obviously i said sweets orange and chocolate um i might get some socks where everybody in our house always gets socks for christmas um so i might get some socks to go in there as well which i haven't got yet or the socks might just be a present that i'll wrap up but yeah it's like a i don't know if it's like a standing joke or what have you but um yeah everyone at, geez, everyone at christmas gets um 
get socks. It's just the law. <laughs> it's just the law of the land here. We all get socks. Um, so yeah, um, that's everything that's going in my youngest, my preschoolers, um, socking this year. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back with some more um, Christmas videos and like other people's stocking fillers for sure. Bye, guys.